This is how I batch sew the masks with a nose wire and a sleeve for a filter. First thing, we're gonna cut out the fabric. With this pattern, you can make use of a lot of fabric. Next, we're gonna crimp and fold all the wire. Sew the outer and liner fabrics right sides together down the front curve at 1 8 inch seam allowance. When you change stitch at every step, you'll go much faster. So your seam should look like this, stitched at a 1 8 seam allowance. If you sew a larger seam allowance, you'll need to notch along the curved edge. Next, stitch or serge the edges of your liner fabric. Right, so you can create a chain on both sides, keeping them all together. Put the liner and outer fabrics right sides together and pin at the center seam. Just pin at the most important points where you want a crisp alignment. That way you'll go much faster. Stitch along the top and bottom at a 1 8 inch seam allowance, leaving the sides open. Pivot at the nose bridge to get a nice shape. Flip all the masks right sides out. Use the wire to measure how large your wire channel needs to be. Top stitch along the top edge of your mask. Pivot and sew 1 4th inch away from the top edge to make space for your wire. If you can insert your wire here, go for it, but I found that the thinner wire that I used for this batch was really hard to slide into place, so I did it in a separate step. Now insert all the wires into the sleeve. You might have to wiggle it past that initial center seam of your nose bridge, so just take your time. Now we're going to finish off the channel. Make sure you backstitch to keep the wire in place. Close off the wire sleeve and top stitch to the end of the mask. We're at the last sewing step. Fold and pin the channel for your elastic. It's important that you don't enclose your filter sleeve by stitching it shut. Stitch right along the folded edge of your newly formed hem and make sure you leave enough space to insert your elastic. Be sure to backstitch at the beginning and end. Okay, we're almost done. The easiest thing to use is a large blunt needle. The key is that the needle isn't sharp enough to stab through your fabric. Insert the elastic or the straps. If you don't have elastic, you can just use ribbon, twill tape, or knit jersey strips cut out of old t-shirts. Let's say you just have a small safety pin and you're just gonna take that safety pin and slide it up. So you're gonna scrunch your fabric, scrunch, scrunch, Hold on to your safety pin on this side and pull the fabric like this so that the elastic pulls through. Then you're gonna grab your safety pin again in your sleeve and you're gonna scrunch the fabric up onto it until the safety comes out the other side, grab onto the safety pin and slide the elastic through like that. The straps are adjustable with this style, so tie them as long as you need them to be. I cut my elastic to be 25 inches long. Look at that and we're all done. Pull both straps over your head to put it on. You can mold the wire to fit your nose, and this way you shouldn't get any fog around your glasses. Thanks so much for watching!